Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, which today we're going to be carrying on with them probably finishing This Way Madness Lies. We had heavy hints in the last episode that uh, we were building up towards something dramatic. So I think we're just going to launch in and we'll keep playing until until the end if we get the sense that you know, things are starting to wrap up. So yeah, let me get this straight. You have a pet cat and it's also a dragon? Yes. And you didn't make it in a lab. Your parents aren't mad scientists. No, I brought it at the pet store. Interesting. So I can buy one too. Of course. I'll take you to the pet store later to pick one out. So for our next play, I was thinking. A portal suddenly appears. Wow, what's going on? There's two of you. The strength of your pageantry has summoned me. Your performance at regionals energized me. Nightmares stand at the gate, but the power to vanquish it lies at hand. When the dark comes rising, several shall turn it back. Gathering the spirit of Shakespeare, we will give us entrance to the Forbidden Land. If you do a play with enough Shakespeare tropes, we could open up a portal directly to the world of Nightmare. Well, that makes sense. Rather than wait for something bad to happen, we stop all this once and for all. But what performance would be powerful enough to create the portal? Maybe Romeo and Juliet? Or perhaps Hamlet? No. We should do all of the plays at once. Well, that makes a twisted sort of sense. The only thing that can give more Shakespeare points than one play is doing all the plays simultaneously. I'll get to work adapting the scripts right away. I'll start spreading the word. We'll do it tomorrow night. Hello everyone, we're pleased to present you this night our compilation of every Shakespeare play ever made. Please give a round of applause for much to do about the taming of the Merry Wives of Venice Part 2. The audience claps. You have been born in the house of York, my dearest Cleopatra. What? <laughs> no one must know of our forbidden love, lovely Henry the... Oh. No one must know of our forbidden love, lovely Henry the Sixth. But what if we were able to convince the two houses to set aside their fighting and join together? Your idealism will be the undoing of us all. Cleopatra leaves and Iago enters. Who is Beatrice? My lord, the lady... My lord, the lady, Cleopatra has been false to you words are clearly the truth, I must kill her immediately. Cleopatra returns and is stabbed. Air two on Henry. Um, which one's Portia? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I intend to prove once and for all that Henry VI did not kill Cleopatra. Someone hands her a letter. What's this? A letter from Iago confessing to poisoning Henry VI's mind? That letter was supposed to go to the prosecution. I rest my case. Cleopatra returns. But what if I told you I'm not actually dead? I'm not actually Cleopatra. Richard III appears. <clears throat> yes, when you thought you killed Cleopatra, it was actually me, Richard III, doing it to frame you. I was in love with Richard III? No, that was Cleopatra earlier, but then we swapped places. You foul villain, how about you? You would woo me, bring me money so that I may leave this idyllic forest and return home to the city. Will this gold do? Oh, wherever did you find so much gold? It was just lying there in a cave. What do you mean with this play that you present for my viewing? Is there hidden meaning within? Your character with weak heel could be anyone who thinks you have a guilty conscience from killing Hector. I am the ghost of Falstaff, foul treater of women. Do you have a message for me, Shade? Don't do what I did. <laughs> it's working. People are loving it. The Stratford-upon-Avon High Drama Society has acquired a massive amount of Shakespeare points. The fated moment is upon us. It's time. If we both work together, we can open the portal to the Nightmare Realm. Come on. The portal appears. I will defend the breach with my very life. Come on, everyone. Let's end evil once and for all. This is it. The nexus of the nightmare energy that's been attacking the various realities. I never imagined it would be this terrifying. We can do this. I know we can. If the nightmare energy is coming from here, then defeating the ruler of this realm should stop all future attacks. With luck on our side, we're unstoppable. 
Stay strong, we'll be victorious. My world should be avenged. This is the final act of the Stratford upon Avon High Drama Society. Let's finish this. I guess this might be the last time we do this, so we'll let it play. Okay then, <clears throat> let's do this I suppose. Uh, I'm just going to avoid any unnecessary fights I think. It's probably anathema at this point. So these are tormented souls writhing in pain. We're going to switch up the party anyway. I want uh, Rosalind back. Traits, let's see, Imogens. Defense up while using rest in the air. Use a Beatrice. Single target ailments. Target road. That's not bad. So how are we setting up? That's not all. Yeah, they're, um, they're already doing all the stuff to the... I know they're not as strong, probably, as the simple target ones, but I'm sticking with that. Oh, oh, awful swells. So we have Dark Flame, a personal favourite of Chinibio. Chinibio? We have Necronomicon, the words are only legible when read through a dream. And Mothman, give it up for America's favourite fighting cryptid. <laughs> Weak to air, fire, fire. Let's see if we can make them run first, actually. So we're going to hit them with a big group. They're almost dying, so let's put dark damage on them. Kills. Got one. Light damage might take a few. Let's just do a, do a row of fire, maybe. Oh, 
objectives this way first. Oh, there's a chest just here. Elixir, item restores all HP. Alright, well that's a better heal than the one we currently have. Lyrics in the uh, background music now. Look at the vulnerable again. Let's try some big turn one damage on them. Vulnerable into fire works oh, quite well, I think. Let's, let's that again. Okay, so we have two left. Mm. Let's stick a poison on Seven. Beatrice is infuriate is more powerful. Kate has got a new trait. New trait for Kate. Damage plus when it makes HP. Can take the regenerate option. Off. Actually has a great sense of humor. <laughs> Robot here. 
which is if you can hear the dog in the background, I think he's heard something else. So, assault mech. Mechs make every game better. It's hard to argue with that. It's uh, vulnerable. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fire attack. Stun with this one. Ice. Must, be, must be close. No. So many Mothmen. Reasonably hard as well. Right, let's start with a button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Friends more powerful. New ability for Rosalind, hypochondria. Lowers ailment resist to next ailment. I don't know, I'm kind of happy with the way she is. I feel like I haven't changed the loadout for a while. But the later abilities we're getting aren't as good as some of the early ones we got.
Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's do a... Oop, what am I doing? Let's do a... Oh. Focus on the Reaper now. Two of them are weak to fire anyway, so that's nicely on them.
50. Imogen's got closing curtain. Stuff's more powerful. Let's look at closing curtain now. So it's actually more equipped this time. 200% light damage plus 100% damage per spent ability. Okay, that's actually really good. Question is, what does it replace? I'm finding I'm not using Encore very much. It's hard to keep track of what the elements we used are, so we'll use that. That actually is a nice ability. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a finisher, isn't it? So. Oh, I should work well here. the reaper down then we'll use it as a finisher on the bot I think try to charm it maybe I don't think it'll work but now we're going to do this so it should be quite powerful wow two and a half two and a half thousand so yeah that was good Shakespeare. So you finally made it. I was wondering if you would. I'm Edward de Vere. Who? What do you mean who? The great playwright Edward de Vere. I've never heard of you. Oh, that hack William Shakespeare stole my ideas for his own. Actually, some people think Shakespeare is just a catch-all for many different authors. He existed and he wronged me. I wrote a play about mistaken identities. He wrote a play about mistaken identities. I wrote a comedy. He wrote a comedy. It just sounds like a coincidence. It happens all the time with movies. That's what everyone says, but I know the truth. I would have my revenge, and so I read the forbidden texts and gained the power of the old ones. 
At this point, Shakespeare was not dead, so I turned my attention to destroying his legacy. Those words you have been travelling, those worlds you have been travelling to, are the collective unconscious, and how the world remembers his plays. By destroying those worlds, his legacy would be destroyed. People's memories of his plays would fade into nothing. But you, you kept thwarting my attempts. I tried direct to direct. I tried direct attacks on the characters within his plays. I tried merging disparate plays together. I tried replacing his dialogue with modern slang and mannerisms. I even tried adding a zombie apocalypse. And yet nothing I did worked. You stopped them, and the plays healed themselves. And then the plays themselves started fighting back. Kate. Yes, the spirited heroine and taming of the shrew took physical form and entered the real world just to stop me. But no matter, I failed until now, but now you are in my domain. All I have to do is kill you, and then Shakespeare's legacy will have lost its greatest defenders. It's time for you to die. Not if we stop you. It's time to see what I can do. I'm Ingenue Aquamarine. Life's a game that I'm gonna win. I'm Ingenue Amber. You've already lost. I'm Ingenue Emerald. I'm Ingenue Citrine. In the name of the cosmos, I'll punish you. Ha <laughs> ha! You're barely worth our time. I'm Ingenue Amethyst. Our friendship triumphs over all. I'm Ingenue Tanzanite. I'm Ingenue Garnet, and we are the Stratford upon Avon High Drama Society. Sound trumpets, let our colours wave. Our victory awaits. And there he is, the bad bard. Let's have a look at his stats. 30,000 HP, he's weak to physical and light. He's the 17th Earl of Oxford, apparently. Um, he's quite resistant to most things, except po poison would be good on him. Quite resistant to status uh, things, though. So let's try. Let's try poison. Get that going. Um, yeah, let's get. Let's get a little fire going. Okay, well we've got only down to the reusable one, so let's uh, let's use the big one on it.
So I think we're going to have to rest as well. Wasn't it as well? Yeah, we've got all our stuff back. Let's try the old poison thing on it. He's down to a couple of thousand. Shame for her to die for the finale, so let's actually bring her back. Oh, got him. Now level 52. Everyone's gained a new trait. Roslyn's got a new trait. Agile. Everyone's got stuff. No, this can't be. I was supposed to kill you. Wait. What what's happening? Ah, no! Fatigin! <laughs> I am Zoa Nusa, the terror between dimensions. That weak creature's hatred created a gap and barrier that prevented me from entering your multiverse. Now that my essence has begun to leach into your world, my power will increase exponentially until I fill every world with chaos. No, we won't let you. I am Anjanu Garnet, and we are the Stratford upon Avon High Drama Society. And there will be no admission to this play without a ticket. Okay, now we've got this dude. 30,000 weak to light. Youngest of the Waza or Yuasa Elder Gods. Is that in the Cthulhu Mythos? I'm not sure. Hey, okay, there's a pretty strong group with lots of HP here, so let's get some poison going with these guys. and we'll boost that for the next time. You can see Dark Dark being as well.
Yes. He's on, oh, he's on still half his health. Beatrice dead. Try. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of healing in the party, which is uh, interesting. And I think the poison's a must. Bear in mind this is on easy as well, so what it be like on the higher difficulty levels? We have to go with the fire. Stop. 
Rosalind may be our, may be our healer. <laughs> Just us. Oh, God, it's on 11,000 still. Again, <laughs> much more I can do. I can't knock the skill level down, down any more than I already have. I mean, it's got to be the poison. The poison is doing damage to every turn they go.
Kate healed, and then Kate can heal everyone else. But let's use this defend thing first. Bloody hell, she's gone down again. Let's heal instead, let's do a Beatrice. Rest her, then we'll heal her on a mission's turn. So now I'll take and do the big healing. Did a lot of damage.
poison. This is basically our last go. <gasps> yes! <laughs> that was clutch. Both, we had two play people both on one HP. And the thing was, the poison couldn't kill them. Like we found, the poison cannot kill it. It can reduce you to one HP, but it can't kill you. And that's what saved us in the end, I think. Oh, 700,000, okay. Level 54. I don't even care about these. You may have stopped me now, but my essence will remain at the edges of your reality, waiting for another crack. Until next time. We did it! I can't believe it. Now that's what I call the winning shot. No one will ever believe what happened here today. We actually saved the entire world. Oh, this is cooler than any game I've ever played. I'm so tired. Is it over now? Can we go home? Let's get out of here and let's throw a party. This cake is amazing. I can't eat enough of it. You hear a knocking at the front door. Shakespeare, is that really you? It really is. I'm so proud of you. You've saved the metaverse. But more importantly, I heard there was cake here. Help yourself. Thank you, dear Thespian, for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. The game's over. You're a winner. Don't write us angry letters if you didn't like the game. <laughs> We've defeated the big boss. The worlds of Shakespeare are safe once more. And we, fi and we finished the last play. Finally, I'll be able to sleep a whole night without waking up to practice even once. Girl, that shouldn't be a finally thing. Yeah, Sports and Health magazine says eight hours of sleep each night are vital to adolescent. To an adolescent. Either way, we put on lots of great shows. I know, and that's why I put together a reel of all the Stratford upon Avon high drama society's best moments. Everyone watches the clip show. Why were, why were all the clips of Miranda? It's not my fault. I was the superior actor. You've been you've been filming us this whole time. Of course. How else am I supposed to post them on MeTube? You really should watch. You really should watch the videos. We are amazing. You knew too. She knows everything. I have to check them out. But for now, let's have a party. Yes, let's enjoy all this delicious food before it goes to waste. Don't worry, nothing on this table is less than 50% sugars and preservatives. It'll last until the next otherworldly demon threatens our existence. I don't know if that's reassuring on whether we should eat this, but without the rest, there can be no glory. Kate eats a cookie. How is it? Amazing. Ha ha ha. I don't get the joke. Om nom. Have you not tried these? These are amazing. Finn. There we go. That was the game. Oh, or is it? A portal appears. Anne. There you are, just as I imagined you. But you're not imaginary at all, are you? I imagined a lot of things, but then some things that I didn't imagine showed up and they weren't pleasant one bit. Who are you? You can call me Anne, but please call me Anne with an E. Come with me, I need your help to save Avonlea. We need to hurry. I don't know how much longer Diana can hold them off. Congratulations on finishing This Way Madness Live. And there we go. So, thank you very much for joining me for this playthrough. You know, I'm going to go on a limb here, and this might sound like crazy praise, but I think this is probably the best pixel art high school JRPG Shakespeare fan club based game I've ever played. I mean, certainly, certainly in the top five. But, uh, but seriously, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. So thank me, thanks for joining me on this adventure. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the like button in the video. Subscribe to the channel as well for more content like this. There's plenty of other good playthroughs at the moment, so please check them out if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you elsewhere on Boring Dead Gaming for more. For one last time, bye for now.